Hey there, it's Monkey. This is part of my Diablo 4 casual play series. I wanted to talk to you about a rogue leveling build. We're looking at Twisting Blades. That's a good melee leveling build for rogue. And just going over the really basics to get you out there and running with it without having to do too much research or, or reading and whatnot. Uh, I am referring to the max roll build that Woody Joe's made. He's a phenomenal content producer. I mean, if you want someone who's a master uh, of all things rogue, I would say that's the guy to check out. Now, there's three important facets to a leveling build, and it's going to be the skill tree you're using, it's going to be your items, and it's going to be any of the legendary aspects that you can get on your gear. So starting off with the skill tree, you know, there's a link down below. It's going to take you right to the skill tree and gameplay section. Just follow the skill tree progression. I tend to find when I get to around level 40 to 45, I'm inclined to switch over to Death Trap. It's a combination actually of Twisting Blades and Death Trap, but that's for a little bit later. Uh, I do have the link to that down below as well. But generally speaking, following this skill tree will get you there. Secondly, itemization. For weapons, you're going to want to focus on always taking DPS upgrades. For armor, you're going to always want to focus on taking armor upgrades. The one exception being gloves, where you want to look for bonuses to twisting blades. Always nice. And then for jewelry, you're going to want to be taking like crit, crit, and vulnerable those types of roles if you can find them. Otherwise, don't worry about it too much. For legendary aspects, again, referring back to this guide, there's a, a section six called Codex of Power. That shows you a few of the legendary aspects that you can actually go out and unlock in your codex so that you can be sticking them on gear whenever you need to. Uh, you'll primarily be putting them on your jewelry, which is why I said don't worry about jewelry so much. Blade Dancers is a good boost to Twisting Blade's power. Ravenous is a good boost to your uh, energy regeneration. And Edge Masters is just a damage boost to everything. Now, I want to give special mention to uh, an aspect that's not listed on here, and you can't really go farm it up, but it's called Ravagers. That gives an extra charge to your Shadow Step and also gives you uh, a recharge to that when you kill an enemy. But even with just the extra charge itself, it basically doubles the power of the Shadow Step ability. So it's super key. Now, there's a lot more to the Rogue build in general and a lot more in this guide, but I just wanted to cover those three key features to get you going. Now, even if you just keep those three key things in mind, you're going to have a, an enjoyable experience leveling without having to worry about uh, a lot of the additional depth right off the bat. There's time for that later on. Leveling is going to be about swapping a lot of gear as it is. So just focus on those three key points and, you know, we'll see you in 50 levels. Thanks a lot. Take care.